Hi everyone. Today we're doing a water wash and a rinse. Siphon off your nonpolar solvent. Fill a gallon jar with a half gallon of water. Collect that into a collection jar. And then pour that into the water and stir aggressively. You can use a drill mixer like I do here. You won't create emulsion. Just go ahead and blend that together. We want to have the water interact with the solvent as much as possible. We're trying to lower the pH a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and collect some of those impurities. And I'll zoom in and show you that when we're creating a vortex, we're going to push all of the impurities to the center. Go ahead and stir the water and the solvent together again. Make a nice big vortex. Use your pipette or a spoon if you need to. The vortex will force the impurities right to the center of the whirlpool. And then you can use your pipette to easily vacuum it up. Inside the pipette, you'll notice that you'll have three layers, that the water stays on the bottom and the solvent is at the top, but the impurities stay in the middle. So go ahead and discard that into a collection jar and you can reclaim any of the excess solvent. Then go back and stir your jar again and create another vortex. Uh, you keep doing this so that you're kind of pushing everything in the middle over and over again and then use your pipette to pick up and just clean up one more time with the pipette. We'll call it good for this round. Go ahead and collect your solvent for the final rinse and then what we're going to do is we're going to switch out for a brand new jar of clean water and we're going to repeat the whole process. So go ahead and pour the solvent back in, mix it right up again and create a vortex. Go ahead and vacuum up the impurities with the pipette, but we still want to stir vortex. We want to still push everything to the middle, clean it, and use the pipette to vacuum it up. When you come back to stir it one more time, you probably won't have that much. It might be a slight layer of dust on the aqueous layer. And if you just want to vacuum up what you can, that's going to be pretty clean at that point. Go ahead and siphon off the rest of the solvent. Put that in your collecting jar. And then we're going to get out the glass pan. And make sure your glass pan does clamp sealed shut so you don't contaminate the ice and food in your freezer. So that's that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, there's a couple other things that we can do. I'll try to make some more videos quicker this time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it. Please, let's help everybody learn how to do this. Thanks again and keep exploring, keep expanding.